Hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stoneman. And today I'm gonna be making you another car video because when I'm in the car, I'm just like, woohoo, I'm in the car, I'm outside, I have sunlight on me, so I feel amplified, amplified. I feel amplified inside too because I'm surrounded by more gemstones, but outside I'm surrounded by more sunlight, so it's an equal trade. Now, today's video is just gonna be talking about amethyst. I realize I haven't talked about crystals very often because I get used to very talking about amethyst. I get, I'm, see, I'm already excited. Amethyst, spit it out, spit it out, amethyst. I'm like, ah. <laughs> uh, I, I know I get used to very much talking about uh, gemstones. I'm used to just knowing the knowledge, assuming people know the knowledge because I've taught it so many times, but I know I have to keep teaching it over and over because that's how people understand it more. So I'm gonna test right now. If you're watching this video, pop quiz. Uh, tell me right now what you know about amethyst. This is the interactive part of the video. Most people will come up with peace of mind, clarity, mental peace, etc. But you know this gemstone's a, a just there's so much hidden knowledge in this gemstone that people don't really know what it truly does. So when you first wear amethyst, since it's 5:55 as I'm recording this right now, uh, when you first wear amethyst, you've noticed you're a little more calm. Some people don't notice it, but because they they're not used to noticing their calmness, but you'll feel more aspects of feeling calm. You'll feel tranquil. You'll feel just like a relief. It's just a relief. It's like this crystal has 999 energy because the feeling you get when you wear amethyst is the feeling that you've accomplished something before you've accomplished it. That leads me to my next point. This crystal is one of the best crystals for wealth and abundance because you can use a crystal such as citrine, but some people who are uh, too, just like, too, uh, have too many nerves, their citrine will make them happy, but they need something to calm them down. So citrine is good for wealth and abundance mainly, but if you're someone who needs to calm down and be able to receive wealth and abundance, amethyst, your bet, it's your best bet. It also holds the purple ray, which is the ray of Archangel Metatron. I'll show you guys my, uh, my Metatron's ring, one second. So it's on, it's on the other hand. So, this is my Metatron ring. Yes, it is. I have amethyst, guys. And I've actually put a ton of amethyst on my website. I'm literally... You know what I'm doing? I'm devoting my time and energy to just enveloping in one gemstone's energy. Because there's all these gemstones in the world, and one thing people don't know about gemstones is they have unlimited power and potential. They come from the heavens. They're not from the... Well, they're from the earthen realm because God put them here. They He gifted gemstones to us, but... They hold a tremendous amount of power that most people don't even know how to tap into. So people will just think that amethyst calms you down. It just, people think that uh, amethyst is just there to make them feel peaceful when it attracts wealth and abundance because it has that 999 energy. So the purple ray, keep in mind, I'd like you to associate per and more amethyst rings from floridastoneman.com, which I have put on there. But amethyst is really that gemstone to just, Sometimes, if you're angry, upset, agitated, anxious, etc., and your blessing's on its way, you can't receive the blessing simply because you're not in you're not in reach of the blessing. Like that blessing is not in your reach because you're out of the vibration. People are like, well, I can be angry because God gave me this emotion. I can be upset or I can be fearful because God gave me this emotion. Well, that that emotion, you have the choice to not attract wealth and abundance as well. So when you really, really feel just calm. You don't worry about anything. So everything good is coming to you. So you're in a vibration of peace. Because anxiety, stress, fear, nervousness, they're running wealth and abundance off. But once that amethyst calms you down, it's in the purple ray, also known as the ray of Archangel Metatron. So it's attracting wealth and abundance because you're in a place to receive it. You're calm, you're feeling good, you're relaxed. So it comes to you more. So it also, purple is the energy of royalty. So back then when they found the stone, they would use it and kings would put it in their crowns priests would use it it's considered royalty because it's a beautiful purple so amethyst really really helps you feel calm and relaxed and just nourished now i'm going to explain something about amethyst because what about the really black amethyst or like the darker amethyst which i do have on my website floridastoneman.com that gemstone of amethyst is the same same qualities but it's a little more grounding so it has grounding energies to make you feel more peaceful and relaxed and tranquil so what happens if you're wearing amethyst consistently and you just you think it's not working but it works because amethyst works overtime 
So as soon as it calms you down, as soon as you feel calm and tranquil, people are like, okay, what else is it doing? Is it just making me calm? And some people might not feel calm when they're wearing the amethyst one. The amethyst has basically presented its energy, but that's you at a free will level. So you, like I said, crystals will not be, never be crutches, but they will always be ladders. Ladders leading to the heavens. So amethyst continuously, it literally churns your gifts open. It's just, it's not like Atticamite, which on Atticamite from my website, floridastonehand.com, Atticamite will blast your third eye open. Like if you want to open wear Atticamite, you'll, things will be popping. There's no, I mean, your third eye will be open after wearing Atticamite. But when you wear amethyst, it does it nice and slowly, like just turns the knob. Atticamite, it detoxes it all at once. It's not intense. It is intense, but it's not badly intense. It's the good intent. So amethyst is a slow third eye opener. Like a... I don't want to say slow, it opens your third eye very gradually. So as time goes on and you wear your amethyst, you're noticing your amethyst is activating to you more. It's just opening you more. It's unlocking your gifts more. It's making you more intuitive. You won't notice most of what amethyst is doing because it's so subtle. Amethyst senses, senses a, a crown chakra gemstone. It's making, it's working on a very subtle level. So it's just calming you down. You probably won't ever know what your amethyst amethyst is truly doing for you because it's doing it passively it's not doing it like it's not trying to put on a show anytime a gemstone tries to show off by show off i mean uh you put on a gemstone and a crazy reaction happens this is because you were unbalanced or you needed that energy so much to the point where where you're not aligned to that energy that energy caught you up and that's why you feel it so strongly now amethyst is very good for blocking monitor spirits and other beings who will monitor your thoughts, other beings. So when you think a thought, your thought is thunk. <laughs> I have to make a joke. When you think a thought, your thought is thunk. So basically when you, when you put a thought out there, your thought's sitting in the world. It's sitting in the universe. And by universe, you, universe is a mechanism. It's a fishbowl. So you're not talking, but you're, you're talking in your head. Your thoughts are being sent out there just like, so it's many tiny bolts, it's many tiny thoughts being fired off. It's being sent into the world, sent into the universe. And then it comes back to you in ways that you don't expect sometimes. So if you're thinking about your next plan, you're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking, you're planning, you're planning, you're planning, you're planning. You haven't told anyone, but you're thinking and you're looking for new ways to grow. You're looking for new ways to succeed. It could be in your love life, financially, spiritually, emotionally, etc. You're thinking and thinking and thinking, but you're not wearing amethyst or black tourmaline because black tourmaline will block it too, but amethyst will block it more on a crown level versus an auric level. So amethyst will literally copy your thoughts so that monitor spirits don't hear you thinking all the time and literally take that information because they're nosy. They'll start talking their mouths off. You ever wonder how in tarot readings, like everything's just popping up and it's just like you there was no sign of uh well, by tarot reading things just popping up you could be thinking thoughts and people who pull cards can hear your thoughts because the spirits on them the spirits around them are gossipy and they're the kind of they're the kind of spirits to spill tea and mix drama and they'll be saying stuff that might not even be 100 percent accurate but etc so that's one reason i don't suggest i mean Angels won't be doing tarot readings. They just won't. They don't do tarot readings like that. And people are like, well, oh, I disagree with my angels. Your spirits, not angels. Your ancestors, maybe. Your, uh, sometimes people's deities, etc. But not angels. Angels will not do readings like that, ever. Uh, even if they wanted to, sometimes it's your energy comes first in the reading before theirs. So they're not going to be like pulling cards unless you're playing games with them. And then they'll pull a card like, uh, what's the next card? And they'll play a game because tarot was originally a game. But back to my point, Amethyst blocks off your mind from being invaded by monitor spirits. So these beings who just want to pick up on information, spill the tea, they'll go back to your enemies and let's just say someone walks up to you and they start reading you and you're just like, uh, you're just, let's just say you're on your way to picking up a pastry and this person walks up to you and lie and they start reading you and just like, I didn't authenticate this. Like, I don't, I don't like this. I don't want this. Can you please like, I mean, like, why does this person know so much about me now, now they know about my, my business and stuff like that? It's like, how? It's because whatever spirits that are nosy and gossipy and trickstery around them will pick up that information because it's on the outside of your aura and it hasn't been sealed and it'll literally, they'll literally just talk about it to them and it's popping up in their intuition and somehow they're accidentally knowing a whole bunch of stuff about you. That's why when you wear amethyst from floridastoneman.com especially, this crystal blocks your mind off. 
from being read. All those extra thoughts, they're putting, like, they're, they're putting a cap over it. They're putting like a napkin over something that's spilling out. So black tourmaline is always number one for keeping those entities away, but amethyst seals off the mind specifically. It's specific to the crown chakra, while black tourmaline is black and it's specific to the root chakra. So what am I saying about amethyst? It's one of the best crystals you can ever use. So also one thing that's really cool about amethyst, it's good for sleep. Yeah, it's good for sleep. So why is your sleep schedule super messed up sometimes? Maybe you have a super, like, you think your, if you think your sleep schedule, if you think your sleep schedule is just based on you going, when you go to bed, it's not. It's definitely not. It's based on planets, planet, planetary alignments, planetary karmas, uh, different energies around you. So as you're going throughout your day and you go to relax at nighttime, sometimes you can't hit the off button so amethyst has that lavender energy it's a lavender ray so the herb that goes hand in hand with amethyst is lavender so amethyst helps you calm down amethyst helps open your abilities to just turn off so if you're just like you want to go into the sleep realm your silver cord and uh they call it the they call it sleep the cousin of death so amethyst helps put something on your silver cord to help you go into the sleep realm so you can actually sleep so you can get a restful sleep so people who have sleep problems um not spiritual sleep i mean not physical spiritual pro not physical spiritual okay disclaimer let me put a disclaimer on that i teach spiritual information amethyst and its sleep is spiritual so it spiritually helps you now amethyst will help you spiritually sleep wonderfully and sound so amethyst is a very relaxing stone so it helps you receive your blessings helps you stay calm it helps you stay collect it protects your mind from monitor spirits and it'll also prevent people from getting in your mind Ooh, what do i mean by that amethyst blocks mental games it blocks psychic manipulation i'm gonna tell you a good 90 maybe it's more than 90 percent. 90 percent of psychics out there know that you need help and that you're coming to them for help so they're going to take advantage of you they might not be trying to, but maybe the spirits on them will try to. Regardless, you will be taking advantage of. Yeah. There's a very specific reason as to, and I agree with this when it comes to the, uh, this is, I 100% see now, the Bible says don't seek out uh, terror, I mean, don't seek out mediums and stuff like that. I understand that because the entities and enemies will use these terror readers who are completely like, don't have a certain guard level and use them. Not all of them, but most of them will flat out just get like these some of these people are so young they're like they're 18 years old but they're gonna do a, a reading on you about your uh your financial life or like how to maintain your finances and they're just they're they're talking about things that they they can't even drink yet like i'm i'm not belittling anyone but i get some people are channeling guides that will be able to help but the thing is it takes a certain thing on a person to be able to speak through them so unless that person has and it you shouldn't really trust it because these things will just play mental games they'll just fight out play mental games these things will and you don't even have to go to a tarot reader for it to play games so entities on someone will like i said step something in their intuition or just rile that person up and regardless if that person's riled up and they start playing games with your mind it could be in a relationship it could be outside a relationship it could be online it could be over the phone it could be anything so when someone starts playing these mental games with you because they know your weaknesses or they they try to stir with you amethyst will block that from getting in it's like it literally turns it off it's just an off switch it's just an off switch it's just button off it's like it's a very pink shield and pink purple shield over your head it'll add colors such as purple and pink to your aura but it just seals your aura from being played with and messed with and tampered with the last thing I'd like to share about amethyst, it's incredibly cleansing. So online does have some accurate information about citrine and amethyst. So citrine is a highly, highly uh, energetic stone. So it doesn't need to be cleansed or charged very often. And amethyst is the same exact thing because they're next to each other in the ground. Sometimes they, I mean, citrine comes from amethyst in the ground. I bet you didn't know that. So when mother nature heats up amethyst, it becomes citrine. Yay. That's why there's so many different colors of citrine. But amethyst is very beautiful in its energies. And the thing about amethyst is that amethyst is very cleansing so it's very purifying you put it next to your room you put it in the four corners of your room it's automatically cleansing and charging your room so you don't have to do cleansings as often 
because some people are out, out here cleansing and cleansing their homes every single day and they're getting exhausted versus you put some amethyst in every corner and every window, then guess what? You won't have that. So that's all about amethyst. You can get your amethyst from floridasomian.com. I'm putting some beautiful amethyst on my website. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.